If you like colorful makeup or beauty influencer collabs, then this review is perfect for you. Hey girl, welcome back for another video. I missed you. If you're a regular on my channel, you might have noticed that I haven't been around for a while and that's because I had pink eye for a week and it was not a cute look, believe me. But today I'm practically like buzzing because I'm so excited to put on makeup and provide great content for you. And we're gonna be reviewing the Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne collection and I'm really excited because I really haven't seen many women of color review the whole collection and I haven't even tried a single product from this yet so it's gonna be a first impressions so if you like beauty influencer collab reviews don't forget to give this a thumbs up and I want you to let me know down in the comments which product you think performed best and which one was like a big flop for you and and if you happen to notice that you're not subscribed, don't forget to click this little button, it's right down here, <laughs> and join the family. So with that being said, I'm gonna scoot you in, we're gonna talk about some of the products that are in this collection, and then I'm just gonna get to applying it on my face. So if you don't know who Kristen Leanne is, she's a pretty big beauty influencer and she's best known for her like bright looks, like eye looks, bold makeup, and also she's got like a lot of tattoos so she's got that edgy vibe going on and she really focuses on a lot of cruelty free makeup. So let's get to what's actually in this collection. So the first one here, this is the Kaleidoscope Dream Eyeshadow Palette. Now look, when I open this up, I mean, look at this guys, there are a lot of bright colors in here. So if you're gonna go for this eyeshadow palette, you better love color. Supposedly, it's very pigmented. Um, I haven't tested that out for myself yet, but the actual layout of this palette is very, very interesting. Not what you would expect, but it's definitely more of Kristen's style, you know, something that's a little bit different. And it's also got a split duo colored pan here, but um, I love it. There's also a brush that just fell, but um, we're gonna test that brush out later <laughs> so it's all good and so if you look at this and you're like whoa like these colors are kind of crazy for me and I don't see any transition colors you know um, I don't know if that's for me so yes I would agree that it might not be for you if you just want to stick with your neutral this is $39 um, that's how much it retails for in the States now if you're just like a neutrals girl like that's all you want neutrals and mattes uh, the daydream palette right here goes along with it so you've got all of these neutral shades right here and um, they look really cute they're really great for like work you know it also comes with a brush here and I like the packaging the packaging is consistently really great and I feel like it stays true to the same color Color theme that's very appropriate for Kristen. Um, this one retails for $26 in the States as well. Now if you're all about that glow, the Beauty Beam palette might be for you. It does retail for uh, $34, so this is not a affordable drugstore collection. You know, Urban Decay doesn't go cheap. Now when you open it up, they have three different highlights. They are all very beautiful. I think they would all work wonderful for uh, dark or deeper skin tones as well. I gotta love my glow. I'm a highlight addict, so I'm really excited for this one. Then there are three lipsticks. There's one nude and two other purples in this collection, um, and they are part of the Vice Lipstick Collection. If you've tried those from Urban Decay, you know they're pigmented, they're great, they've got that bullet kind of look to it, and I will be swatching these later, so don't worry, they're coming. I also want to say each of those lipstick is $17. Um, I have a lot of Urban Decay uh, Vice lipsticks and I love them. They last for a long time. So, um, you know, you won't be using it up very quickly at all. So now that we got that out of the way, you know what? Let's just put some of this on my face or you can watch me put it on my face. <laughs> I want to start with my favorite primer, the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. I've got oily lids and it's just really nice for making the eye makeup last all day you know, 12 hour a day, it don't matter, it's not going nowhere. And of course to set that in place I'm using my Fenty Beauty Invisimat and just patting that on there 
so that it's not as sticky and I can blend out my eyeshadow. Now, first off, I want to start with the actual Daydream palette, and I'm going in with this color. color. Oh, this is really cute. It's called Subscribe, <laughs> which if you're not subscribed, girl, what you doing? Subscribe! <laughs> That's really useful for somebody like me. And I'm just putting this in the transition. Now, first off, I'm noticing it's so buttery. Like, I barely, barely blended it out and it already looks like it's perfectly blended. Uh, I'm not mad at that, you know? I really, really like that. I think it saves a lot of time. Most of us don't really have a lot of time to be blending out eyeshadow to perfection in the mornings or whenever you're doing your makeup. So that's really nice. Um, I'm just kinda gonna like wing it out here like so. Now, again, for transition, I'm going in with this one here. It's called 12 slash 12. I don't really know what that means. I don't watch Kristen enough to know what that means, um, but I'm seeing that it's very pigmented after just a few dabs. Like, do you see how orange that is? Girl. And barely any fallout when I tap it off, which is something that I love. Okay. So it is pretty pigmented. It's more of a peach color. And it does show up on my skin tone. It's a very, very light blending transition color. So I think if you're lighter than me, this will be like a lot more visible, you know, like not as um, subtle for you. But you know what, we're going for a bold color and I wanna really build those transitions into each other. So for this next part, I'm moving on to the Kaleidoscope palette. And there are so many choices in here. I'm like, oh, I don't really know. What should I go for? Um, gosh. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with these two. I'm gonna do like an ombre eye. Um, this on the inner corner to the middle and this on the middle to the outer corner. So I got a little bit of that color uh, LCW and I'm spraying my brush with Fix Plus just to make that color a little bit more intense, you feel me? Okay, ooh, you guys, I gotta say, this goes on so pigmented. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but I, I'm not mad at you, Kristen, you did your thing. Honestly, I would kind of equate this kind of pigmentation to like Juvia's Place style, you know? Um, very, very pigmented. And you can definitely apply it without wetting your brush. That's just my preferred technique. Because I actually have hooded eyes, it benefits me to bring it up above that fold so that it's actually visible. So I'm gonna go in with the color Tahine. I actually know why Kristen picked this uh, shade because I used to follow her on Snapchat and she would always, always, always be adding tahine to her uh, fruits. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this color and I'm gonna concentrate it on the outer parts here and just kind of like blend it in as more of a transition for that peach shade that we added earlier. And again, I'm seeing a lot of pigmentation still. This blends beautifully. Just a side note, you guys, as I'm using this brush that came in the Kaleidoscope uh, palette, it's actually really, really nice. Um, the shape of it is really, really different. You've got this longer, uh, kind of like blending buffing brush and the shorter one that's really great for you see it just placed the eyeshadow for uh, the transition shade perfectly and I'm just gonna go in with this blending and blend the upper parts out and I'm very surprised I usually don't use these types of brushes because they're not really you know, worth it, but um, I like what it's doing so far. So, so far, so good, I'm liking it. I'm gonna go in with uh, TRM, this dark color right here. So going in with TRM, it's not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be. I might have to layer this more carefully. So this one does require a little bit of building up, but you can see it there, you know? Okay, so see how I did that nice ombre? I was able to use this brush to create that really nice tail there. And you know what? The color, um, what was it? 
TRM. It's actually really nice. Yes, you do need to build it up if you're using a smaller brush like this, but it's fine. I did use my fix spray. It's not that big of a deal. I still get that nice, vibrant blue look. Okay, so I finished up this eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and the rest of my face off camera before I proceed to my lower lash line. And uh, let's go ahead. I'm just going to show you how I do that in three, two, one. One. Now for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with this purple color here. It's called Dye. And I'm going in with a smudger brush and I'm just going to line my lower lash line with this. And I'm going for pretty dramatic, I would say. So it's going to be a more like smokier effect. And now to smudge it out even more, I'm going in with a pencil brush here. And just kind of blending out the bottom part. So that looks really nice. I'm happy to say that dye is actually a very pigmented purple. Um, I didn't have to even do much to like go over it, you know, add more color, make it look vibrant. Um, so if it stands out on my skin tone, if you're fair, medium, um, even porcelain skin, it's going to look beautiful on you. So now that I've gone like completely, completely edgy, <laughs> so different than a look that I would normally do, um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the highlighting palette. And this is the uh, Beauty Beam, like I told you. This color here is called Soft Rose Gold. This is White Gold Pearl, and this is Warm Golden Pearl. So I think I'm going to go in with the Soft Gold Pearl color. And I'm going to smile. You see where that natural line is? I'm just going to go right there. And this is, ooh, it's very pretty. I'm going in with a really light touch just because I have to go out to the grocery store after this and I don't want to be looking too crazy. And I'm just like doing small downward strokes along that line. Of course, to spice things up, I'm gonna go down the center of my nose. Wow, I put a lot on. <laughs> um, I'm gonna blend that out with the, just a clean um, eye blending brush. This is the Morphe M502. You know what, you guys? So far I'm having to say I really like this little highlighting shade. Um, not something that I would normally go for myself, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Now for the lips, I'm going to swatch these colors for you guys. This one is more of a neutral. They call it a comfort matte in the shade Bun Bun. And um, look how pretty that is. Uh, on me paired with a brown liner. It's gonna be a beautiful classic nude. It's very 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 smooth. This one here is called Cloud 9 and it's also a comfort matte and this one is more of a bolder purple as you can see here. <laughs> it's really really cute and definitely something that for my personality I would like to pair it with a neutral eye look but I think it would definitely look beautiful on any skin tone. And then here we have Spellbound which is a darker purple color and they call it a mega matte. So putting that on, oh yes, you can see how matte it is. It does need a little bit of building up and personally if you want to wear it all day without touching it up I would definitely suggest a liner underneath it but it is really really beautiful. Oh my god with this purple color on the eyes too that would be really really nice. So here is the final lip look. Now I paired it with my favorite brown liner MAC Chestnut which is like my holy grail and then I put on Bun Bun as the lipstick and blended them in together and then I topped it off with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, which works well with over any kind of lip combo that you want to choose. Now you guys, I gotta let you know what my actual thoughts are, like what the lowdown, what the T is on this, and I have to say the actual Kaleidoscope palette really, really, really surprised me. I mean, I have to say, look, 
when you look at this thing it doesn't look that appealing but look at this beautiful eye look that I was able to create and my favorite favorite thing is that number one these colors are really really pigmented so I really didn't have to spend too much time with building up maybe the actual uh, dark blue color was slightly less pigmented but it still came out gorgeous and I didn't have to work too hard with it another favorite thing about this is that man like there's hardly any fallout which is very rare for a lot of eyeshadow palettes with really like bright colors like I love my Morphe eyeshadows but you know what they do have a lot of fallout especially when you're talking about the colorful shimmer palettes so you know I really really love the kaleidoscope I think it's definitely worth the money as far as the actual daydream palette this little guy right here with the neutrals don't get me wrong, they're really nice. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful pair to the actual kaleidoscope with the colors. But if you have these already in your collection, you definitely don't need to purchase these. What I do like about this itself is that these colors are super buttery. And even this color, the 1212, which is a light peach, definitely showed up really nicely on my skin and works really well with the actual bright colors as a nice transition. Although I do like the highlighting palette, there's nothing wrong with it. I just feel like all of these colors are already available on the market, so I feel like if you have something similar to it, you don't need it. Um, you can definitely go subtle as what I have right here, or you can build it up. It's really up to you, um, and I like that there's that flexibility here. I do like that there's three different colors, but I'm just gonna say I don't think it's definitely something that you like need to have. I just think, hey, if you're a highlight addict like me and you like stuff like that, you know what? I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Otherwise, if you have similar colors, then girl, you could just pass. Now, as far as the lipsticks, I tend to be more of like a neutrals person, so that way I can really play up my eyes. Um, I do like the lipsticks and I am in love with Urban Decay's Vice Lipstick formula. However, I do think if you have colors that are similar to the purples or the Bun Bun new color, you don't really need this one. You know what I mean? Um, I will say that they do go excellently with the eyeshadows and all of that stuff. If anything, I had to pick my number one favorite thing out of this, it would be the Kaleidoscope palette because this makes me want to play around with colors so much more and I can totally see the value of spending the money on this, you know, the $39. If you have that pigmentation there, if you can create a whole bunch of different looks and that's what I love about this. If you're feeling inspired, you want to incorporate more color in your makeup routine, then the Kaleidoscope is yours, okay? Now, if you liked any of the makeup that I talked about, I will have links for you down in the description box where you can go ahead and you know purchase them if you want to or just check them out now if you're feeling sassy and you want to check out some other beauty influencer collab reviews don't forget to check out this playlist over here that I have for you and also if you're still around and you're not subscribed please click that subscribe button join the family I upload three times a week so you're guaranteed to find something that you like on my channel as always thank you guys for coming back hanging out with me I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!